All right, everyone, welcome back. So it's like a left, leaving me with what I must do at the very least. That will never happen. I keep convincing myself as we head to the living room. Our clasped hands are really warm. Sakura is here, alive. That's all I care about now. I can't make Sakura uneasy by worrying about other things, but... Hmm? Wait. I think Sakura's hand is too warm. Sakura... She must not know herself as she asks me a strange question. Yeah, I don't know why, but Sakura lowers her head in embarrassment. そっか。そうだよな。じゃあ、早く着替えて体を温めないと。夕飯は俺が作るから、桜は熱を測って風だったら暖かい格好で今に来ること。夕飯は食べやすいものにしとくから。Sakura leaves in a hurry. Ah well, I'll catch a cold too if I stand here like this, so I should take a bath and warm myself up. I finished taking the bath and returned to my room. Now that I've changed out of my wet clothes, I finally feel like I'm home again. I sit down and let out a sigh while relaxing my shoulders. Today was a long day. Many things happened and there were many ups and downs. I sort out the things I've lost from those I still have. So Sakura Rider no Master Datandake. It seems Sakura had given her right to Shinji, but she is Rider's master now. Then Rider must be nearby, protecting Sakura. So Chiro's the only guy that will ever do that for a servant. <laughs> she's unapproachable because of her appearance, but I think she's understanding. I don't know when Sakura will be discarded by Zokin, so Ryder's the only one I can rely on. Well, according to Kotomine, Sakura's condition will get worse the more she uses her servant, so relying on Ryder is a last resort. Yes. My shoulders slump. But Ryder will be living here too, so I should at least greet her. Dada! I raise myself so that I can dodge instantly and glare at the shoji. Outside the room, I can see the silhouette of someone standing on the porch. There's no reply. The figure seems to be waiting for my reaction. Damn. There's nothing I can use as a weapon here. I guess I'll have to attack first before. Senpai? Ano... Okitemasu ka? Nanda? Sakura ka? I sit back down. Furo nara suki ni tsukatte izo. Kigae nara fujine no ga aru daro. Hai. O furo wa mou o kari shimashita. Fujimura sensei no yofuku mo karite masu. Then I don't think there's anything else to ask. The shoji opens, and the person entering the room is. Sakura in normal clothes, acting strangely. I hear someone gulp. I realize that it's me and I feel myself heating up. I cover my mouth with my hand and look away. This, mis this makes no sense. I looked away, but the urge to look at her is overwhelming. I don't know why, but Sakura is stirring up strange feelings in me right now. 
Sakura just stands there. I feel I, I finally realize that something else is strange. Sakura, what happened? How was the fire? Is it the fire? No, there is a fire, but it's not the fire. Sakura looks down awkwardly. Sakura acted like this from time to time over the last couple of days. I thought I'd grown used to noticing parts of her that I didn't know about, and that she's a girl my age. But I think this is on a different level entirely. Sakura. もう私一人じゃ抑えられない。抑えられないって何が？私の中の、だって先輩と一緒に帰ってる時でも先輩の手が温かいなって思っただけで。Sakura sways unsteadily. It looks like something more serious than just a fever. Ah, oh, the walls are swerving. I can't think clearly. It's clear that something is wrong with Sakura. In that case, I should take her hand and lead her back to her room. But I can't move. It's maddeningly silent. Sakura draws towards me as though blown by the wind. Her foot catches on the edge of the tatami mat and... <laughs> Was that my cry or Sakura's murmur? Sakura collapses feebly. My feet move again. I move to help Sakura to her feet. Too late, I awkwardly catch Sakura. There's clearly something wrong with her body. She's burning up, but, her, but only her limbs are cold. Her body is feverish, but her arms and legs are bloodless. This is absolutely not an ordinary fever. This isn't caused by sickness, but a poison made by human hands. My gaze moves. Sakura is burying her face into my chest. There's a long silence. She doesn't make a sound, but Sakura is crying. Sakura. Senpai. Senpai, what do you do? Can you cover me? I'm not afraid of anyone. 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 The reason I protect Sakura. I don't even need to think about such a thing. Sakura. There's no way that I can see her as family now. I wanted Sakura by my side these past couple of days. No, for a long time. It's just that I can't lie to myself any longer. I say it clearly. It's ridiculous. When faced with the possibility of losing Sakura, my insignificant facade is finally stripped away. Sakura is trembling. Or maybe it's me who's trembling. Of course, I'm nervous lying down with Sakura in my arms and confessing my feelings to her like this. I put just a little strength into my hands that are holding her. It's quiet. I thought I'd be more agitated, but after putting it into words, I feel completely calm. Sakura. Sakura's shoulders are moving. Her head shakes as she faces, faces into my chest. I told Sakura that I love her, so I want to ask if she feels the same. No, maybe I don't need to ask. 
from tomorrow on, we can spend mornings together like usual. Her frailty takes my breath away. Her voice sounds even weaker than before. It's not the voice of someone feverish. But, oh, uh, Sakura! Uh. Sakura's on top of me, and something seems to be wrong with her. Not only is she feverish, there's something pitiful about her, as if she's enduring something. Sakura, oh, please, no. Sakura's body is heating up, and at the same time, her limbs are getting colder. I need to calm down. I can't help Sakura, but Tosaka. No, that's no good. Then I'll take her back to the church. No, instead of taking Sakura there, I should call Kotomina here. Then first I should put her to bed. Sakura is clinging tightly to me. Her anguished expression makes me bite my lip. I told Sakura that I love her, but I can't even do anything for her. Her incoherent mutter mixes pain and bashfulness. Our breathing quickens. Sakura's pain breath in mine as I listen to it. I can't stay calm being close to her. For now, she needs to sleep in a warm bed. Sakura refuses and tries to run away. No, she leans back and grabs my hand. I thought Sakura didn't want to be touched, but that's not it. Sakura is behaving inconsistently. Her arm is gripping my hand and trembling as she tries to draw me toward her, but her upper body is trying to move away. Sakura? Oh, Sakura! My hand in Sakura's moves slowly towards her. I can't pull free. I can't let go of this frail resisting hand. There's a captivating quality to Sakura's voice. Sakura brings my hand close and... As if looking for relief, she bites my finger. The surprise steals my strength away. Why is Sakura doing this? She bites into me. There's a slight pain in my fingertip. Sakura's teeth tear my skin and pain and blood begin to pour out from the inside. My blood streams out. Sakura's shaking gradually slows. Her cold limbs start to gradually regain their warmth. She's a blood sucker. <laughs> There's a tiny movement in her throat as she swallows the blood. The tip of her tongue touches the wound. It makes a quiet sound as she drinks the red blood. My finger feels so pleasant, it's as if it's about to melt away. I feel the sensation of Sakura's lips and the occasional gentle touch of her tongue. But more than that, with every drop of blood that leaks from the wound, a sweetly pleasant feeling washes over me. I'm sure I've felt the same pain somewhere before. But I can't remember what kind of experience it was. It feels so good, it seems like a bother to remember. She's only sucking my finger, but the comfortable sensation runs past my wrist and up to my elbow. It's as if the veins from my heart to my fingertip have been brought into a sharp relief. The blood carrying my magical energy spills into Sakura's mouth and... I look objectively at the reality of the situation. Sakura is drinking my blood while holding back embarrassment, 
and her condition is improving. Then, what's the problem in what she's doing? The problem is she's taking your blood, dude. How much blood have I lost? Judging by the weakness from my loss of blood. I'm sure I've only lost as much blood as I would from a blood donation. Sakura gives my finger a final lick, and with a sound, lets it fall away from her lips. We look at each other wordlessly. Sakura's condition seems to have returned to normal, but she still looks forlorn. Sakura. Finally, I call her name. I hold back the strange pleasure I felt from my finger and my unease about what just happened. With a start, Sakura lets go of my hand and jumps back. Sakura... I can't answer it, I can't answer it. Her voice is so quiet, it's like it's about to disappear. When I turn to face her, Sakura hangs her head as though cowering, her hands in her lap. A dark rage towards Mato Zokin wells up within me, but even more than that, Sakura's passionate, pitiful speech fills my chest with pain. だから She gives a small nod. In this silence, it makes a very definitive answer. I see. Going back to being Ryder's master greatly increased Sakura's consumption of magical energy. She was able to live normally without difficulty up until now, but now even that takes up magical energy. Her voice breaks. The wound Sakura gave me throbs with pain right to my heart.先輩は私のことを一人の女の子として好きだって言ってくれたのに私は先輩の血を吸うことしか考えられなかった私たちが上げる埋めき声しか聞けなかった楽になりたい早く楽になりたいだから先輩が血が欲しいって It's obvious. I don't even know why I should have to say it. I embrace her again and whisper. Is it because Sakura is shaking and crying? 
or because I'm saddened that I can't cry for her. だから Sakura leans on my shoulders and sobs quietly. それにさ、さっき血を吸われてる時嬉しかった。そんな先輩。おかしくないぞ。桜の体を直せない俺でも、桜を楽にしてやれるんだって嬉しかったんだ。だから気にしないでくれ。俺にしてやれる唯一のこと
it'd feel better if we were if it were enough to break both of us. If creation is a gentle pleasure, then destruction is an intense one. You see, they are both in an undeniable catharsis. What am I thinking? That's completely inhuman. <laughs> My vision wavers. Sakura's not there. Sakura was drinking from me, but all of a sudden I'm being eaten by something strange. <laughs> hot. My foothold is melting. I'm sinking into a scalding hot mire. I'm drowning, knowing that this is Sakura's body heat. I have a violent dream. I have an ominous dream in a sea of hot coal tar. The next a day. Dark wood sleeping beauty. I open my eyes. While staring up at the ceiling, I raise my arm and let it fall to the futon. Did she drink more from you when you were sleeping? I keep my eyes on the ceiling in a daze, not bothering to get up. My body feels dull. I'm not awake yet, and I feel like I need more rest. Even though it's morning already, I really don't feel like getting up. I try to recall what happened. Then... At the very least, my sleep, my sleepiness is blown away in an instant. Um, look beside me. No one is beside me. All I see is my lazy arm. Oh, so Sakura is already awake. Then she should be in the kitchen. Knowing her, I bet she's preparing breakfast and letting me sleep in. Man, she always pushes herself even if I don't stop her. I raise myself up. Immediately, dizziness assails me. Whoa. My body sure feels heavy. Maybe I'm fatigued. A lot of certainly did happen yesterday, but um, I don't think what happened last night would make me this tired. I haven't been training for nothing. It must be because I didn't get that much sleep. <laughs> First of all, Sako is in a worse state, and she's pushing herself even harder, so I can't be resting just because I feel a bit tired. Mustering my resolve, I get out from the futon. And I get dizzy again. It's not because of fatigue. It's because when I look toward the doorway, I remember what happened last night. Crap. If this is causing me to blush, how the hell am I going to greet Sakura? I take another deep breath to prepare myself. It's alright. I've simulated it many times in my head. It's nothing difficult. I've greeted her numerous times before, so it's weird to be nervous. Alright. I'm going. I put gasoline into my empty tank. I turn the key, kick the gas pedal, and enter the living room where Sakura is. <laughs> then, Sakura, who I thought would still be in the kitchen, is in the living room putting breakfast on the table. Awkward. I try to say something, but my head is blank. This is bad. It's bad to have silence so early in the morning. No more than that, as a man, I can't trouble a girl. I talk stupidly. Wait, this greeting isn't any different from the earlier one, you idiot. <laughs> you know, if this was the original version of the game, <laughs> the, the, this situation would be understandable. But as of right now, she only took his blood. Not as bad. Um, I think Sakura's response is the same as well. She looks at me in surprise, evidently thinking the same thing. To her, I must look the same way. Thinking about it makes me relax. We're both nervous, but we're looking forward to seeing each other. I give a natural smile and greet her again. The instant she sees me relax. 
はようございます先輩。And so our awkward breakfast starts. 